Today we're going to be making this festive Christmas stocking with some DIY chunky yarn. And for this project, you can use any two strands of yarn that you have lying around. So it does not need to be the same size, weight, brand, or type. And we'll also be using a size K or 10 and a half or six and a half millimeter crochet hook. And for this project, we're going to be working with two strands of yarn simultaneously like they are one. So go ahead and grab both ends of both strands of yarn and we're going to attach this to our crochet hook using a slip knot. And we're going to begin by chaining 14. And once you have your 14 chains in place, then you're going to want to turn them over so that you can access this back bump. So this is not a regular part of your traditional stitch, but instead it's this third loop in the very back. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to insert our crochet hook in this very first back bump that's sort of directly beside our crochet hook. So we will not have a turning chain for this row. And all we're going to do is yarn over and pull through all the loops on our crochet hook for a slip stitch. So we're just going to repeat that process in the remaining 13 back bumps in our row. So at the end of our row, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And this chain one is going to act as a turning chain. And for our next row, we're going to place one slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch in our row, beginning with our very first slip stitch. So go ahead and repeat this going down your row and you should have a total of 14 slip stitches. So now at the end of our row, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And all we're going to do is just continue to repeat that last row over and over to build the body of our stocking. And I went ahead and repeated that row until I had a total of 36 of these vertical ridges going up. Make sure you've placed your chain one at the end of your last row. And you also want to make sure that when you fold this in half, that your starting tail is on the opposite side from your crochet hook. So from here, we're going to join our two edges together. So we're going to do that by skipping that chain one and diving right into our last full stitch. And then we're going to insert our crochet hook in the last stitch from our first row here. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on our crochet hook for a slip stitch. And we're just going to repeat this in every stitch in our row until we've joined our two edges together. And after you're done joining your two edges, then you're going to chain 30. And once you have your 30 chains in place, then you're going to want to place one slip stitch somewhere near the top of your edge. So I'm just diving right back into those same two stitches that I just worked under at the end of my row but you can also work in any of the available loops there. And once you're done joining your chain 30 back to the edge, then you're going to cut and tie off your yarn. And from here, we're going to turn our stocking inside out. And we're going to attach our green yarn to our crochet hook using a slip knot. 
and we're going to insert our crochet hook somewhere near our starting and ending tails from our red colored yarn. And I am going to work over my red tails, but you don't have to. This is just an option that you have. So if you're working over your tails, just drape them over your crochet hook near your loop. And then you're going to yarn over and pull up through the loop and then yarn over and drop your two loops for a single crochet. And the pattern for this row is going to be to place one single crochet in each of these loops at the top of each of your ridges for your first five ridges. And then you're going to place two single crochets in the top of your sixth. And you're just going to repeat that going all the way around your row. And when you get done, you should have a total of 42 single crochets. And at the end of your row, you're just going to place a single crochet in the top of your first single crochet from this row. And we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And I am going to work over my green tail, but again, it's just an option that you have. And so we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch in each of our rows. And our pattern is going to act more like a spiral. So we won't be starting and stopping our individual rows. So go ahead and place one single crochet in each stitch in each row to build the body of your stocking. And I worked that pattern until I had a total of 17 rows with my green color yarn. From here, I want you to lay your stocking down flat and crochet this pattern until your crochet hook is on the opposite side of your hanging loop here. And so once you've crocheted to that point, what we're going to do is place five stitches in this same stitch, and we want to mark the third stitch of those five. So the stitch that you've already placed will count as your first stitch. So we need to add two more. And this right here, the stitch we just created, that's the stitch that we want to mark. So I usually add an additional stitch and then I know to just mark the next one over. It just makes it a little easier. So I'm just marking mine with a scrap piece of yarn, but if you have a stitch marker, you can use that too. So now we just need to add in one more stitch so that we have all five stitches. So just like this. From here, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row until we get back around to our stitch marker. Make sure that you slide these extra stitches over so that you're not accidentally skipping a stitch there. And when you make it back around to your stitch marker, then we're just going to repeat that last row several times to kind of create the curved portion of our stocking. So you're going to place your five single crochets back in this stitch where you placed your stitch marker. And you're going to want to mark the third stitch of the five using your stitch marker. And in the remaining stitches in your row, you're just going to place one single crochet. And we're just going to repeat this for multiple rows to build the body of the curve of the boot. And I follow this pattern for a total of six rows. So my latest row has a total of 66 single crochets. And for our next row, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And we want to mark the first stitch of our row. And when you make it back around to your stitch marker, go ahead and remove it. And the pattern for this row is going to be to place one single crochet in our first nine stitches. And we do want to mark that first stitch of our row. 
Once you have your first nine single crochets, then we're going to single crochet together our 10th and our 11th stitch. So to do that, insert your crochet hook up underneath the 10th stitch and yarn over and pull up through. Then up underneath your 11th stitch and yarn over and pull up through. So you should have three loops on your crochet hook and you're just going to yarn over and drop all three. From here, we're just going to repeat that pattern going all the way around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 60 single crochets. And the pattern for our next row is going to be to place one single crochet in our first eight stitches. And then we're going to single crochet together our ninth and our 10th stitch. And we're going to repeat that going around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 54 single crochets. And the pattern for our next row is to place one single crochet in our first seven stitches. And then we're going to single crochet together our eighth and our ninth stitch. And we're going to repeat that going around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 48 single crochets. And the pattern for our next row is to place one single crochet in our first six stitches. And then we're going to single crochet together our seventh and our eighth. And we're going to repeat that going around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 42 single crochets. And the pattern for our next row is to place one single crochet in our first five stitches. And then we're going to single crochet together our sixth and our seventh stitch. And we're going to repeat that going around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 36 single crochets. And at the end of your row, I want you to turn your stocking inside out. And so from here, we're going to join these two edges using slip stitches. So we're going to begin by chaining one at the end of our last row. Then we're going to insert our crochet hook up underneath our last stitch and then this corresponding stitch right here. And we're just going to yarn over and drop all the loops on our crochet hook for a slip stitch. And we're just going to repeat this process going all the way down this row. And once you've completely sealed up your hole, then we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. And I recommend hiding your tail along this ridge and then turning this back right side out. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Crochet with Julie. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.